The amygdala is the part of the brain that deals with stress and anxiety. And I'd seen in a few studies that I'd researched that after people had been practicing meditation for eight weeks or more daily, the amygdala shrank in size. And I was very curious to hear from Professor Schroeder why that was. Now he comes with a very clear answer. And after that, let's look at the benefits for us. Professor Schroeder, please could you explain if the amygdala gets smaller when we meditate? And if so, what effect that has on us and what the amygdala is? Yeah, well, that could be the case that it becomes smaller because a large amygdala would mean a large, a high level of anxiety. So the amygdala is very sensitive for anxiety. And an important point is that here from the medial prefrontal cortex, the ventral medial part, there is a pathway to the amygdala mm -hmm. inhibiting the amygdala function. So the amygdala is very sensitive for anxiety. You should inhibit it so that your level of anxiety will go down. Yes. In people with a high level of anxiety, you may find a large volume of the amygdala. Okay. So if meditation will uh, lower your level of anxiety, also the volume of the amygdala will go down. Right. It will become smaller, like Cyrus said. Yes. And one of the structures that will help inhibiting the amygdala yes. is the ventral medial prefrontal cortex. Okay. So this pathway inhibits, REMT inhibits the amygdala. Mm -hmm. so that you get control over your stress level, anxiety level. What we're basically saying is you get control over your stress and anxiety. That surely is one of the greatest gifts that anybody could give to anybody. And you can give that to yourself if you do the work. So the prefrontal lobe seems to inhibit the amygdala and therefore it grows less in in my layman's terms. What do you notice when you meditate? You notice that things don't get you so stressful anymore because as you have been observing yourself, you observe things around you. And normally stuff that would really be getting at you the way that a parent would be talking to you or a child would be doing something or a teammate or someone in your, your company or an MT member, whatever it would be that would get to you it still sort of gets to you a little bit, but you notice it and then you start to observe it because that's the work that you've been doing as a meditator. And that's what's meant by you can start taking control of your stress and anxiety levels because you notice them much earlier, you feel them much earlier and you know what to do with your attention.